I mean, Gangster Squad. I, how, I mean, how much of a fan of you guys have been of uh, period pieces anyway? How, you know, how fun is it just to get like into a different time frame, so to speak? Anthony? Oh, um, <laughs> no, I've always been a fan of uh, gangster movies and just specifically movies from any different genre and period because it's always a window into a culture or a time in society that I'm not familiar with. I love how this film, how this film uh, used like a little comedy in, in, in it also. I mean, all the stuff about Burbank and everything. It was just like, it was a, it was a, it was a touch of comedy with everything that was going on. How, how fun was it to work on set? I mean, you got a great cast of characters from, you know, sitting by you in another room. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it was the best. It was, you know, that was one of the reasons why, personally, I wanted to, to, to do the movie was because of the cast and, and how much respect I had for everybody. Um, but, but it was also really just great to come to work. And, um, and, and I think that, that respect shined through, you know, um, and came through in, in the relationships with the characters specifically. So, yeah, I mean, it was just a pleasure to work with these two. The whole reason he killed Tommy Russo was to take over his Continental Wire service, which means Cohen's got the only wire between here and Chicago. He's building the central book for the entire Western United States. Wait, what's the central book? All gambling money on the West Coast will go through a central book, and Mickey Cohen will touch every penny. If he gets that thing up and running inside a week, it won't matter what we do. Where is it? I don't know. They haven't said a thing. Well, we gotta find it. Now, a lot of people do stuff for envy, but there's a scene in a movie where the three of you guys and y'all, y'all with Josh, Josh's character, and he says, you know, y'all not gonna get any medals for this. Nobody's gonna, you know, know that you've done these great accomplishments. What satisfaction does, you know, a, a man or a woman get from doing something where they're not gonna be praised for it at, at all? I think it speaks to the nobility of all of our characters that we're all looking for a, 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 some way to give back to our community, respectively. And, and we were given this opportunity, and we did it. And we don't need any credit. We just need to, to know that we were able to do something that might have an impact and leave some sort of a legacy behind us. You know, and I think that's what we're all looking for in our lives in general, anyway. Right. Yeah, and recognition has become sort of a contemporary theme for everything. People used to just do stuff because it was their job or it was the right thing to do. Yeah. But now, nowadays, you know, with technology, everyone wants to be recognized or have a pat on their back for just waking up in the morning. You know, so it, 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 that's more of a contemporary train of thought as opposed to when this movie takes place. I think that speaks to the universal, like, character that all of our characters had. The character we had was, we, we, we you know, what we did it, when we're by ourselves, we all had the same kind of commitment to this ain't right, we got to do something about it. Mm. Right, right. Mm. Now, this movie finally like puts a, a gangster period piece in, in the city of Los Angeles, kind of, you know, we've seen Miami and New York and everything else uh, exemplified. Do you think it was just time for, you know, this story to be told? So to yeah, I mean, LA has, you know, th there was definitely something. Um, incredible about Los Angeles, Southern California during that time. Um, and, you know, also the nature of, of, of the, uh, the film industry, um, how, you know, that was the heyday, um, or one of the heydays of Hollywood. And, and, and it was, a, a, um, you know, I think Gangster Squad touches on that a little bit when, when during that scene with um, seeing the, uh, the Native Americans uh, <laughs> crossing and yeah, the thinking casino, like yeah. what the hell is that and then they're <laughs> extras action, in, a, yeah. in a movie yeah um and uh you know there was it, within those films there was so much style and 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 it was almost um uh, you know could arguably be you know one of the most critical styles that or uh, that was born out of film which is film noir mm -hmm. um and so yeah it was just really great you know especially the, the wardrobe and the cars and the uh, the whole thing and Dion Beebe, the the, the uh, cinematographer in the film, is phenomenal. All right, well, can't wait to see you guys and whatever y'all got next. Really looking forward to seeing you as Falcon and, and everything else. Congratulations and happy New Year. Record breaker, uh, youngest lead actress nominee for Oscar. First, congratulations, you did a great job. We can't wait to see where you go in your career with the Butler and everything else. Congratulations. How does it feel? 